Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here at the Fort Mill School District office, getting to know our newest high school, Catawba Ridge, opening fall 2019. Catawba Ridge, wow. We are passing this new high school, the third high school, seeing construction, seeing mm. progress, but you have been part of this since its inception. Yeah, it's been a long journey. Yeah. Uh, exciting journey, and I think Fort Mill especially as we grow, it's important to stay small in family values. If you look around, you a lot of families here, a lot of little ones yeah. who uh, eventually might go to Catawba Bridge, maybe not. Um, team effort, I think that's important to point out. Uh, I'm just one person in this whole team and got a lot of buy-in from the community, uh, a lot of tours in high schools around the state and other states of what works, what doesn't. Uh, really excited about D. Christopher. Congratulations, D. Christopher, now the principal of Catawba Ridge High School. Thank you very much. And there is a lot before you, my friend. Um, a little bit of work. You got an a little elephant bit of work to, eat, to do. Basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we call it eating the frog. Great principal at Fort Mill High. Uh -huh. I know he's sad to leave that establishment, but bringing new traditions and new excitement to Catawba Ridge when it opens in 19. Exactly. So it will open fall of, of 2019. 2019. That's okay. correct. And tonight we are looking at a lot of things that we can expect to see in the actual building when it's complete. Yeah. But wow, I'm seeing a lot of technology that's giving us more than just a peep. That's great. And that, that we want to showcase kind of what we're about. And we're kind of looking at the future. Uh, uh -huh. You see kids in the background. What they're doing is they're taking a physical tour, virtual tour, of the building, exactly how it's going to be laid out. So if they want to see the science labs, they can peek in the science labs. If they want to see the commons area, they click on the commons area. If they want to see the gym, here's what the gym looks like, the locker rooms, the bathrooms, everything is there in virtual reality. Tonight we're looking at a peep of the construction, what to expect from, you know, the building itself, the classrooms. It's gorgeous. It really is a neat building. Uh, the architects, the design team, uh, the district level folks that have that have assisted with this, on down to teachers and, and other administrators in the district, um, did a really good job of uh, designing a safe school, yes. uh, one that is very attractive, uh, one that kids are going to enjoy uh, coming to school every day. Now what are some of the features that Catawba Ridge will have that will be unique to it? Okay, uh, we have a couple surprises. I don't want to go into too much detail. Okay. Uh, it'll be some challenges when the students actually enter the campus. There'll be some things to look for. Okay. Uh, that's a teaser. Okay. We'll come up. Wink, wink. Uh, neat thing is the courtyard, the central courtyard uh, where all the kids can gather and it's accessible from different avenues, from the science wings, from the central hallways, from the cafeteria. So it's kind of a gathering place, it's a park feel. We really wanted to hold that park feel. Catawba Ridge sits in a really kind of um, unique area. It leads down to the water. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see Rock Hill from the, from the ridge, that's what yes. we call it, the ridge. So that's one of the areas. Another area is the Main Street. When you walk in the school, where the administrative building is, where the auditorium is, it opens up and expands down into the commons. So it's kind of the thoroughfare, the life of, of the school. The next thing is the um, media center that overlooks the courtyard. So from on the top, looking down, you can take it all in. You can see all the activities, pep rallies will happen there. Uh, kids throwing frisbees, a lot of studying going on. Just a park feel. And yeah. I, think it, I can't wait to see it in reality. We see it in virtual, but the reality is going to be even better. I see lots of windows, a lot of light, yep. a lot of open spaces. Jumper Carter Cease, the architect, uh, really big on bringing in light, natural mm -hmm. light, uh, the environment, bringing the outside in and that's what you're going to see at Catawba Ridge. The school is not opening until 2019, but we're seeing a lot of progress on the outside of the building. Well, it is, it is uh, it's coming out of the ground, as they say in yes. construction terms. Uh, I've been in it a few times, walked the halls, um, see glass going in, you know, windows going in, and sheetrock going on walls already. And I know that even choosing a mascot was an exercise in collaboration. Correct. Uh, I know Catawba Ridge with Copperheads, a lot of people push back with the snake theme. I think it's growing on people. Some people still have fear of snake and, and we'll work through that. Uh, but I kind of took a straw poll of, of all the kids here and some of them said they couldn't stand it at first. Now they like it. And the colors too. How would you? What are what are the colors? It's it's Vegas gold is the official yeah, and dark but green. But I don't dark green. Okay, dark green. Vegas it's called gold. dark green when you look at the the Pantone colors. Okay. Called dark green. Yes. Of course you work in whites. You work in some grays. You work in some other other tones some as well. Some skin. I like it. <laughs> uh, 
We're going to see Mr. Christopher maybe sporting some crazy pants that have snakes. You know he will. That's, that the, yeah, that We're expecting that. <laughs> Sorry, Dee, I had to bring that into this. As long as you find those crazy, wacky snakeskin pants, that the kids just love and live up to your reputation of being, you know, brave enough to wear whatever the students say. Do it! It'll continue. They're they're gonna they're gonna have to uh, they're gonna have to do some things oh, to get me it's into be those. Conditional. That's right. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, you don't get me in those kind of britches without <laughs> some coaxing. And that's why you are the principal <laughs> at Catawba Ridge. Now, Mr. Christopher is going to come on board July 1st. Okay. So uh, at high school this size, you need to bring a principal on early. In terms of uh, capacity of students? 2,400. Okay. Yeah, which which seems is, to be a very good number for Fort Mill. Well, and that's the that's the size of Fort Mill and Nation mm -hmm. Forward now with construction that added on to both of those schools in the last few years. So. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pleased with that number and it won't start there, um, but it looks like it's going to rapidly get there. Mr. Christopher has a lot of work on his hands in front of him. Uh, it takes time. It takes time, but also I think the vision is already set for Fort Mill. We put children first in all our decisions and that won't change at Catawba Ridge. Mm -hmm. Well, Fort Mill is a special place yeah. and, and, and our community knows that. One of the reasons for growth is because of what's going on with schools and uh, you know, there's not a bad school in the district. Um, they're all great. And so we, we intend to keep that uh, legacy of excellence um, going at Catawba Ridge. What are you most looking forward to? I, I think I'm most excited about just building a culture uh, at Catawba Ridge. We have two great high schools. I mean, Fort Mill is the longest uh, running school in town and um, is a great school. And I've been there and I know I'm, I, I'm a little biased about that. Nation Ford is a great school. And so we're going to have an opportunity to create a new identity uh, with a bunch of kids that, have, that are going to mix from Fort Mill and Nation Ford initially, but then come out of that community uh, that's, that's right close to the school. And uh, I'm just excited about building a really neat, vibrant culture, one that includes the community, includes families uh, in what we do. Uh, we're going to have great teachers yes. uh, at, at Catawba Ridge. I can promise you that. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. If you'd like to see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com. Maybe you're thinking about buying or selling your home. Remember to call Carmen Miller. Live where you love and love where you live. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.